such a basketball person. Oh, I love basketball. I haven't done basketball since 1994 <laughs> when Arkansas was in the Final Four of the National Championship. Did they win? They were in the Final Four of the oh, National Championship. Okay, that is good. That's good. I think they got third because so that was when they used to play the second game. They used to play the. That first. was way back in the day, wasn't it? <laughs> Ninety-four, at least. Yeah. So we got third that year. Third. Well, then you weren't fourth. No, but so third in the good. whole country is pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Yeah, and I think we're going to get in again this year. Do you? Yeah, what team do you pull for? <laughs> I kind of, I'm a, kind of a KU, Rock Chop J Rock. KU, girl. They're having kind of a rough time right they're now. Well, they won last night. Oh, that's or good. They won. They'll, they they'll won. be okay. <laughs> they won. All right, all right. You know what's interesting this year is that there's so many good teams. Mm -hmm. There have been, I don't know, I would say there have been eight number one teams this that's season. Right. So that's right. anybody. And that one week when the, like the top seven all lost. They all know. lost, including KU. Hey, I bet you can't guess what our theme for this week is. March Madness! That's right, basketball! So we're gonna do some foods that you can eat all during March Madness. And the neat thing about some of our foods, and at least the two that I'm making, you know, it's not like the Super Bowl where it's one big event, you make the food That's for right. it. That's right. It goes on and on and on and on. Well, you hope it goes on and on and on for your team. You so you might have three, four, five different gatherings. So the, the food, some of the food that I'm making, you can put in the freezer, pull it out. Uh -huh. Oh. And use it all through March Madness. Excellent. So I'm going to make a uh, artichoke spinach dip, which I think is the best ever. I love. Oh, I can't yeah. wait. And then I'm going to make sausage balls because they're round like a basketball. Basketballs. Yeah. What are you going to make? I'm going to make two things. I'm going to make a little tater tot crispy cup. Now that's a smart thing to do. I make. I guess tater tots. Could, you know, we could squish them to look like a basketball. Um, <laughs> and you could put in different toppings. I'll show you what I'm going to put on. But then yeah. if there's things that you really like, you could throw them in. And then I'm going to show you how to make a fun little March Madness cookie. Oh. It's a breeze and it, it will make everybody, even if your team loses, it'll make people smile. But your team's not going to lose. No, never. Never. All right. We're okay. starting with you, I think. I'm going to jump right in with uh, my... Another oh. question. What musical goes with basketball? Well, it never played on Broadway, but oh, it's well, very musical. popular. Okay. High School Musical. I think I Disney's. Heard that. I think Is we are one, legally obligated to say one, Disney's High School Musical. Two, three, four, <laughs> six, I, seven, eight. I couldn't tell you. I've seen I've seen High School Musical <laughs> on stage. A nice production of it at Theater uh -huh. in the Park. Uh -huh. I know it's very popular. Uh -huh. It's you know kind of fun and. Happy endings, so more power to it. That's a basketball. And the opening number that we did, all that basketball stuff. Yeah, that's that. all from that show. Very good. All yeah. right, let's go. Okay, I'm we'll talk a little bit more about it. I need just you to tell me about it. <laughs> so, well, this is our tater tot crispy cups. And you want to get some tater tots. I went ahead and got the onion tater tots. So sage, I have to add. Sage and ingredient. Yeah, sage and ingredient. Smart ingredient. Smart ingredient. And we're going to put four in each oh, okay. little cup. Keep it up at home. Now, these are frozen, right? They're these not, are frozen. Okay, you haven't cooked them yet. Nope. No, okay. good question. Thank you. Yes, frozen. We're going to cook them for about 10 minutes, and then we're going to smash them, and we're going to cook them again. Okay. Do. So we're par-baking them. Ah, uh, yes. For the, yes. You are correct. Tell us again what that means, Kevin. That means partially baked. Partially baked. Yeah. I'm going to do six for us. Six. Six yeah. times four, that would be 24 tater tots. Oh, I was told there'd be no math. Okay. Well, that's why you're not doing it. I'm okay. doing the math. There they go. They're going to go in the oven for 10 minutes at 425. And if you did the whole pan, you'd need 48 tater tots. It's just, you're keeping Again, count. Again, with the math. Here we go. Yes. You could be the scorekeeper. I could, yes. If you tell me what the scores meant, <laughs> <laughs> I would be happy to be the scorekeeper. I'm going to set my timer <clears throat> for my tots, my tot timer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it a tiny top timer? It's a <laughs> average top timer. Okay. How long? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Said. Okay. Off we go. All right. Oh, it's over to me already. Unless you want me to keep talking. She's tossed the ball to me. Tossing All right. A handoff. Uh, yes. A pass. Some of the things that we had to do for the uh, spin dip. Uh, we do ahead of time and that's what this is here this is two yellow onions that i have sauteed for about 20 minutes and there is some cayenne pepper in there salt and pepper 
Uh, it starts with uh, some butter and some olive oil. Mm -hmm. and As you, most good things yeah, do. You brown, these are two huge onions and they cook down to this. Mm. And then at the very last minute, you put in one tablespoon of um, garlic. And I use the kind that you use for this. <laughs> I use cheaters. Kevin cheater. used cheater I, garlic. Because Foul! It, tweet, be, tweet! <laughs> Foul because on it's, Kevin. It's not the star of the show. If garlic okay. is the star of the show, I use right Fair now. enough. Fair All enough. Right. So we're going to start with our base, which is one uh, half cup of sour cream. You know, there's so many variations yes. of spin dip, but when you find a good one, you stick with it. And there's uh, four ounces of cream cheese. Cheese. And we're going to do another half cup of real mayonnaise. No miracle. No mayonnaise. miracle. You know, it's not a miracle seed. Um, would you get the mixer out from down there for me? So we're gonna mix, I'm gonna mix. Uh, the cream cheese is at room temperature. So we want it to get be soft so we can mix this all together. Did you find it? I yeah, did. Thank you. Do you mind the beaters? Yes. yes, yes. All right. So I'm just going to mix this up a little bit and then we're going to beat it up. Beat it. Just beat it. That goes to another Broadway musical that just opened, it I does. believe. The Michael Jackson yeah. story. I haven't heard much about it. Have you heard anything? Uh, I had a friend that was telling me something about it, but I good, don't know. Good, bad? Uh, yes, they said it was very good. Oh, okay. Well, right, camera can't person? Go wrong with the music. <laughs> said it was like watching Michael Jackson. Well, isn't that, the, I guess that's kind of the point. Right. This does not have to be silky smooth. Okay. We just want to get this stuff. This is kind of the base for a lot of dips. It sure yeah. is. Sour cream, yeah. uh, cream cheese. So while you're mixing. Yes. Oh, um, okay. Here we let's go. go is, let's dig deep. All right, dig deep. Into high school. All right. Uh, it's based on the Disney movie, High School Musical. Oh. Um, lyrics and music by Matthew Gerard and 12 other people. I decided not to write all of their names That's down. Fine. Uh, the book was just by one person, David Simpatico. Great name, Simpatico. It is. That's yeah. a wonderful name. And uh, you've got all your school groups represented. You've got your jocks, your thespians, your brainiacs, your skater dudes, and adults. That's how it's broken down. Now, Kevin, I'm going to figure out where you would be. Yeah, I was just going to ask you where you would be. So where would I be? Where do you think I would be? I, well, I think you would cross over, actually. I think you'd be in a skater dude and a jock. <laughs> I'm going to wait. That's not my final answer. Um, that shouldn't even I'm be your, gonna, your well, first I'm gonna, answer. Under the umbrella of thespians <laughs> would go music. Huh? I'm going to put you with the thespians and the brainiacs. That's exactly where I would be. That be? Exactly. Because mm -hmm. yes, if I wasn't in the choir room, I was in the math hall doing all kinds of difficult things. Counting math. tater tots. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. All right. Can I move on or do you want to say some more about high school? No, that I, I, we'll stop there and we'll pick it up later. Okay. okay. Um, we have 10 ounces of artichoke hearts. Now, Question. Are yes. those marinated? They are not marinated. Could you use marinated? You could. You oh, certainly okay. could. Um, and I found these already chopped up in the grocery store oh. in a can, so all oh, I had nice. to do is drain them. You want to make sure there's no liquid in here because you don't want it to be runny. You want mm -hmm. this to be a thick dip. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to add the star of the show. Mr. Spinach. Mr. Spinach. This also, this is frozen spinach, 10 ounces. I took it out and I squeezed the water out of it. And you'll be surprised how much water comes out of that. But you want it to be dry when it comes out because you don't want any more moisture in your dip. No one likes a soggy dip. No, we don't. We certainly do not. All right, so that goes in there. It's a pretty dip too. It is. It's, it's very pretty. Mm -hmm. And really, this is, I have all kinds of spin dip and this is the best there is. I think. There's, there was a restaurant on the plaza called Houston's. Do you remember mm, that? I do. And they had my favorite spin dip. Yep. Would you say this is yes. in the ballpark? I would say this is a three pointer. Very good, Kevin. I'm going to move you into the chop <laughs> category. <laughs> All right, we're going to put our onions in now. I have a feeling this is what's going to set it apart. I think you might be right. Yeah. Yeah. These smell so good when you're cooking them too. So good. Mm. 
So we mix that in there. Okay. And can you get me a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper? Salt and pepper uh, coming right up. I, Thank I you. passed the ball to Thank you for that you. one, didn't Thank I? You for that assist. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yep. Perfect. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. Yes, while you're mixing that in, I'm going to talk about one of my pet peeves oh. about High School Musical. Okay. And I noticed this when I saw the production at Theater in the Park is the lead character, Troy, I believe, mm -hmm. is on the basketball team. He is number eight. Okay. You can't have any number on a basketball jersey that's higher than five because refs count the fouls and do it with one hand. So you will never find any basketball jerseys higher than 55. So oh, 50. if you fouled me and the uh -huh. ref and you had the number 14 on, uh -huh. the ref would say, foul on 14. We don't do eight. Uh -huh. So I'm really surprised that Disney did not catch that. But well, I'm thinking they're not a bunch of jocks. It could have been people from the arts group and the math group <laughs> that, that came up with that. All right, we've got a cup and a half of Parmesan mm. cheese. Nothing wrong with that. We're gonna put. This is the low cal dip, right? Yes. Yeah. We're gonna put. Well, I use the low fat sour cream and the low fat. Thank goodness. Cream cheese. We're gonna put half of that in okay. the dip. Okay. Mixing that up. Yeah. This makes a lot of dip. Trust me, a lot of dip. And you could, you could do my like half and half for different. Really? Things. You oh. could, you could do half and half. I could go with the Brainiac group. <laughs> figuring this out. I have made our demo for today is in the oven and I used the big pan for mm -hmm. that. Our big uh, cast iron Because you have several rounds I of do, March yes. Madness. Yes. You're 64. Well, you got your playing rounds now. Yeah. You're 64, you're 32, you're sweet 16. It sounds yeah. like math to me. It Elite does. 8, Final 4. Mm -hmm. And then so where's lots the of opportunities. Final four? Sometimes third place. Third Sometimes place. you play for the championship yes. as the Jayhawks have done a couple of times. Yes. Yes. Um, so I'm going to split this up and put half and half. It each smells. One. So I'm just going to do one right now, um, and then we'll go back to you. But okay. I'll show you how we we'll finish see it off. My uh, are doing. About two so minutes on those. Just put it in here. And what you can do with this is you can put it in the freezer and freeze it. And let me get just a little bit more. And then just pull it out and put it in the oven for at 375 for about. 20, 30 minutes. Frozen, or would you thaw it out first? I would probably put it in the refrigerator. Okay. And then we're gonna take half of this again, if we were doing the big one, we'd use it all, and put it on the top. Oh man, and now, and what are you gonna serve it with? Well, I'll show you what I serve it with. Oh, it's a surprise. <laughs> I thought maybe some tater tots, yes. and maybe some cookies. We could put <laughs> this in the middle of the tater tot cup. Perfect. It'd be another thing you could put in there. All right, and there you go, that's it. Oh. That's great. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna get some hot pads. All right, I'm gonna work on the second one while you're doing it. Right here, okay. I'm gonna check my tots and show you the next step here. You ready to pull them out? I think it's close enough. So. so they're partially cooked, as Kevin mentioned. And at this point, we're gonna take shot glass and we're gonna squish them to kind of make a cup. Oh, that's smart. Mm -hmm. Since we're talking about Disney and High School Musical, I was at Disneyland once and uh, I was going to buy a souvenir. And they had something that looked a lot like this on a shelf. And I said, how much are the shot glasses? We don't have shot glasses at Disneyland. <laughs> it's a toothpick holder. And I said, oh. okay, how much is the toothpick holder? I came home with my toothpick holder. Uh -huh. Looks a lot like this. There you go. Okay, see, I made them into little cups. Squish them out. I'm going to bake them 10 more minutes. Okay. Okay? All right. I'm going to push this over to the side. And we're going to work on my other project, which are sausage balls. Sausage balls. Could not be easier. Three okay. ingredients. Mix them together. Form them. So what I have here are three cups of Bisquick. Or any kind of that, you know, you can get it. Mm -hmm. not, it doesn't have to be Bisquick, but kind of pancake stuff. Um, so we put that in there, and notice I put that in first. Okay, I noticed okay. that. Okay, then I'm gonna put a half a pound of grated, uh, sharp. I use sharp cheddar cheese, that's gonna go in on top of that. That would be a Brainiac cheese, because it's sharp. Yes, it is. Get it? Yes, it is. And I'm <laughs> gonna cover 
the biscuit. You're layering. Yes, I am layering. It doesn't really matter. I just found that this works a little bit better. And then I'm putting a pound of sausage in. All of these things are at room temperature because you want to be able to mix it up. I use the Jimmy Dean uh, with sage in it to get another level to mm, it. Nice. Um, so Jimmy Dean does good sausage. Jimmy Dean, he has Here. the sausage in it. I'm going to wash them first. Okay. All right. And then just push it down like that. And the reason I put all that stuff on top is so when I turn it on, which is unplug, you are the queen of unplugging my things. Someone give me a mixer. <laughs> It's not all right. exploding. Yeah. So we just let that go for two or three minutes until all gets mixed up and I'll send you back to your cookies. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a fun little cookie to make. Um let's turn on my grab. Wait, hold on. Here. Okay. Let's turn on the I'll show you the final product in a minute, but we start with the classic nut butter cookie. Always delicious. Okay. You, and where do you get the the thing to make the ridges in them. Uh, it's a special, <laughs> um, find it in the cookie aisle. Oh, the cookie aisle, okay. So I'm gonna put some on this plate. We have Brenna, our fabulous camera person, come back here. I have some almond bark. Almond. That's nicely melted in our double boiler. And I'm gonna dip half of my cookie in there. Make sure you get it, be generous. Be generous, okay? Here he is. I'm just gonna set him on the plate. This is something if you have kids who like to uh, watch the games or are into sports, this is something they could do with you. I think they'd enjoy it. Get them involved in cooking. So once you have your cookies dipped, do four here. I'll do. The week you were gone, we talked about tempering chocolate in the microwave too. You can do it the same way. Oh, good to know. Yeah. You'll have to watch that episode so you learn how to do it. <laughs> Thank you. So that's my base, okay? Oh, that's cool. Okay. So then, after it's hardened, and I didn't have my little toothpick with me, but after it's hardened, you but before, you want to add little eyeballs you want to, to the top. Sure. You want to make sure those refs can see, because most of the time they don't. Thank you. So I just take a toothpick, and I use that to make little eyes. Oopsie. Oh, look at that. How cute. That's cute. This is as crafty as I get. I'm kind of proud of it. Okay. Will they have eyeballs or just whites? Oh, hold on. Will we just see the whites of their eyes? Just the whites. <laughs> Don't shoot the basketball until you see the whites of their eyes. Just that. Oh, these are so cute. Okay. I'm sure there's easier ways to do this, but this is what's working for me, so. I think it looks cute. Yeah. Okay, so there they have their eyeballs. Now, once they've hardened, these I did earlier, so it's hardened. You're gonna take some black icing. Oh, cheater's icing now. Cheaters, <laughs> believe me, yeah, you want this. You should do a cheater's cookbook. I should, I should. <laughs> We're gonna turn these into referee cookies. Refer okay. Oh, are you kidding? Okay, so here we go. <laughs> We're gonna make stripes. Oh, how cute is that? Everybody will want these for dessert. They might want to munch on them during the game. Too. Well, they might. Um, Especially if the ref's as bad as some of them have been lately. Oh, poor refs. Refs have the worst job. They do. Half the team, half the crowd is not going to be in favor. Again, this is something you could do with some little ones if you want to cook with them and get them involved. And then we make our little eyes. Okay. 
Those are really cute. Isn't this cute? And then we're gonna make them happy refs. Little smiles. <laughs> And guess what? They need a little hair. <laughs> so. Here we go. And they look like, but here's some I did earlier. And I just think they're adorable. They are. And you know what? If you get really cranky mm -hmm. with the ref during the game, you just, just bite your head off. I Take off it. your aggressions in a positive way I with, through it. a cookie. But these are so fun, and everybody loves a peanut butter cookie. Of course they do. So, easy peasy. Great. Well, we're back to the sausage balls now. As you can see, they're, it's all mixed together. I did nothing. Oh, wow. Just let it mix together. Okay. And then I take out about large marble size, a little smaller than a golf ball, and roll these into little balls. You get about, you'll feel, you don't really have to measure it out because you'll feel it in your hand. Um, I mean, they won't be exactly the same size, but it's just a lot easier. You can feel it in your, see how they come out just about Some the people same just size. have a feel for the game. Yeah, that's right. Some people have a feel for the meatballs. That's right. Yeah. Or the sausage balls. The sausage balls. Yeah. So uh, we roll these out. You get about 80 at, at this size out of this. So Ooh. that's quite a bit. Um, and they can go right into the freezer. And they can be yeah. frozen. So I put them in um, plastic bags. Like ha I'll do half of them, so I'll get two batches out of this. And then you don't have to warm them up or anything. You can, you don't have to, but you just set them out the day of that you want to use them. You can even put them in the refrigerator, but I just set them out on the counter, and then they're ready to go. So you bake them, froze mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. then you just thaw them out and they're ready just to go. Just them out ready to go. Okay. And if you want them warm, you can put them back in the oven for yeah. 10, 20 minutes. Um, so uh, what we do now is that we make all the balls. That's the hardest part of the whole thing. So if you've got kids, it's a great project for Cookies, kids. balls. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds goes, like March Madness. It goes into the oven 375 for 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. And I'm going to switch it out. Uh -oh. As ones if ones by magic. Already made. Look out. Here come my little basket oh, balls. Look at those. Those are They're so good. Hmm. And I think the sage is really great because it really sets it off. Mm -hmm. Gives it a little more spice. Um, there are all kinds of recipes for that. You can put different things in it, but I say keep it simple and away you go. Keep it simple. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you, have you ever seen High School Musical? Was that at a basketball game? <laughs> you've never seen the a show? A basketball game after 1994. <laughs> okay, so you've never ever seen a production never of it. Seen it? Never been in it, never music. Oh, I've never, never been in it. Okay. No. You... I've only seen it once. I mean, okay. I know well, then you're the expert. people under probably 30, everybody's probably seen it. Oh, we just missed it. Did you? <laughs> just, just, just this close. Just this close. Yes. So, do you know the big star of the movie? No. Brenna does. Zach Efron and Vanessa Hudgens. Oh. You've heard heard of them? Yes. I, I've, I heard of, I've heard of them. I know who Zach Efron okay. is. Okay. Yes. Yeah. They were the stars. And it started as a U.S. tour. It started in Atlanta. It had a big tour. And then high schools and colleges are doing so, it everywhere. So it started out as a TV musical. Yes. And then they turned it into this tour. And then they made a stage version. Exactly. Yeah. There was some guy in a Corbin. Is that his name? Oh yeah, yeah. Corbin I saw him Blue? on yes. I saw him on Broadway in um, Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So I do have six degrees yeah, of six separation. Degrees separation. <laughs> yes. So, okay. Uh, I'm gonna get out my tots. Okay. Get your tots out. I'm going to finish. All right. Let me find you a hot pad to put it on. Yeah. There you go. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Huh? Okay. So I have my little cups here. So this is where you can be creative. Oh, it smells so good. Um. But you can put in pepperoni, you can put in a Oh. Little, I'm putting in some bacon. So it's kind of like um, um, potato skins. Yeah, potato skins, or as some people say you can make it like a pizza and oh. do pepperoni and a little sauce on it. You could just use this as a base, um, whatever your favorite things are. But I'm gonna use some bacon bits that I cooked in the oven and chopped up. No cheater bacon. No cheater bacon. Ooh, guess what, <laughs> time to come out. Um, that's great. Yeah. Top it with some cheese. Any kind you want, I assume. Any kind you want. This is just a mixture of, um, it's a Mexican blend. Mm -hmm. So it's got a little probably cheddar, a little jack. Okay. Nice. Now you really only need to put it back in for about 
a just, minute. Just long enough to melt the cheese. Yep, yep, and then we'll finish them off. Oh, there's more. This is a complicated little thing. Well, you have to keep putting it back in the oven. But I would say mine should be served hot, Yeah, I would right out so. of the oven. Yeah. Um, and then you're gonna finish it if you want. You've got a little sour cream, got some green onion, courtesy of Kevin. Who went to the store for me because he's such a good guy. Take out a loan before you go to the grocery store these days, folks. Oh, man. Woo. Crazy. I'll tell you. It's well, good to like make things like this, freeze them, make them in bulk yeah. if you're going to entertain because prices oh. are going up. You want to start tasting while we wait for your tots? Oh, sure. sure. Well, grab your uh, sausage bowl. <gasps> sausage bowl. Well, thank you, mm. the sausage bowl. Okay. I think I'd like them warm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to keep them frozen because I will just kind of keep eating them. Because mm. they're not, good. They have a really surprisingly kind of light texture mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. a batter in it, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like them. This is not a snack that you want out when it's getting close at the end of the game. That you're just dying. Nervous eating. Yeah. Uh, nail biters. Can I make you mm -hmm. a sample of the spinach dip? Mm, this this is what I'm waiting in. for. It's a little warm. Okay. I'm going to give you a big pile of cheese Thank there. You. Here, and I'm going to set out. Oh, mm. they're watching us. They're watching you. I can't believe you got <laughs> the eyes are so cute. Googly eyes. <laughs> All right. All right. We're up against Houston's here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to hunk of food. Mmm. Smells so good. Oh my goodness gracious. Did I promise too much or were they well, out of track? You delivered. Like Carl Malone, the mailman, pulling out some basketball names. You delivered. Right, just nod your head. Mm -hmm. mm. This is to Carl. To Carl. Whoever you are. Those onions mm -hmm. make the difference. That yeah. is the secret. When you want to knock everybody's socks off with mm. your spin dip, Put in those sauteed onions. Mm. Okay, I gotta get my tots out. Okay. Hold on, here we go. I'll stay with the dip. You stay by the dip, protect the dip at all costs. So, um, oh, there's who's, who's, your, who's gonna win the title this year? Oh boy. Um, you know, I think Arizona is kind of a sleeper in there. Um, I think that Kentucky is looking mighty good. Uh, KU is so up and down this year. I want them to do well, but I'll be lucky if we get to the Elite Eight. I'm yeah. going to say, don't forget about UCLA. I, again, I think it's a fun year because it's yeah, not it like be there's been one team that has dominated. Yeah. So I think it's going to be, and I think there's going to be some fun upsets, which there always, always happens. Are. Um, I just think it's going to be really exciting. But, of course, I'd love KU to go all the way, but... Do you still go all out? You used to put up the whole chart at your house. Oh, yes. You still do that. Years ago, those of you might remember, the NCAA's headquarters was in Kansas City. Oh. And when my boys were very young, we, you could go and they had kind of a little area where they reenacted the court. And I bought this giant dry erase board with the 64 <laughs> and you, we fill it in. And of course, we wager on it uh, as a friendly family wager and have a lot of fun with it. Okay, Kevin. Oh, my okay. little. That just looks so uh, good. I'm gonna, oops, let's see. Let me <laughs> grab a little platter for you. We've got lots of dishes today. Yeah, we do. Okay, so I'm gonna top it with a little dollop of sour oh, cream. Oh, oh, look at that. It's so oh, cute. Green onion. Now that's gonna be hot. Okay. Right out of the muffin cup. <laughs> but they're really cute. Now, if you wanted them a little fun. bigger, you could put in five or six tots, but those are going to be, be, but I think this is a kind of a perfect little bite. Put my little dollop of sour cream. Mm. Everything's better with a dollop of sour cream, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Look at that. Is it too mm. hot? Is it too mm -mm. hot? Good. I thought like getting a potato skin. <laughs> no, I've seen this done with uh, hash browns, mm. but mm -hmm. this is better because it's already crispy. Right. Yeah, you get and the you crispiness. And you want to cook it at a yeah. high temperature yeah. to keep those uh, potato skins really crispy. So mm -hmm. my oven was at 430. I've seen recipes that go up to 450. 
I always get a little nervous when I'm at 450, quite mm -hmm. honestly. Um, but 430 to 440, you should be just fine. It's so a, who yeah. do you, you want Arkansas to win, right? Mm-hmm. Are they ranked? Um, what does that mean? <laughs> All right. Well, well, we'll wish Arkansas well, won't we? Well, I hope they do because then I have the hat. <laughs> That's right. And you have all the food for, for the future right. rounds they're yeah. going to play in. We have to play at least two rounds. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of sausage balls. We well, are. I'll come over and watch KU. Okay, great. Hopefully they won't get eliminated in the first round. Not on wood. Hey, everybody. Enjoy your March Madness. We hope your team goes far, far into the tournament late into March. And we hope you enjoy some of these oh. yummy little treats while you're watching the game. See you next time. Bye.